we have to do our job. And I think that um, once the House impeaches, the House has impeached the president. And then that hearing goes to the Senate. If they want to fail it, then I want to see every Republican go on the record and knowingly vote against impeachment of this president, knowing his corruption, having it on the record so that they can have that stain on their careers for the rest of their lives, because this is outrageous. You'd think that Trump would have used his time while Congress was on summer recess to not mire himself in unnecessary scandals like Sharpie Gate and his failed Camp David meeting and most recently calling Bahamians recovering from Hurricane Dorian drug dealers and gang members. Because it looks like it's going to get a lot worse now that Congress is back. And that's because there are now a majority of members in the House who support starting an impeachment inquiry, with at least 137 Congress people coming out in favor of it. That comes on the heels of an announcement by Judiciary Chairman Jerry Nadler that impeachment proceedings have already been launched. And Nadler will be looking at everything we already know. Because the fact remains that while Trump may have normalized corruption, while we may be numb to the daily deluge of scandals, these crimes have still been committed. The fact is that Trump obstructed justice on 10 separate occasions, from pressuring Comey to end his investigation into Mike Flynn, to trying to get then Attorney General Jeff Sessions to unrecuse himself, to firing FBI Director James Comey before telling the Russians that the pressure is now taken off, to trying on multiple occasions to have Mueller removed after the special counsel probe was started, to trying to get Sessions to limit its scope, to editing Don Jr.'s statement about the Trump Tower meeting, to his demand that White House counsel Don McGahn lie about Trump trying to get him to fire Mueller which McGahn refused to do, to dangling pardons for Flynn and Manafort, to trying to intimidate Michael Cohen when he cooperated with prosecutors. And just to be clear, one instance of obstruction of justice is already impeachable. And you don't even need to be successful in obstruction. The mere act of attempting to obstruct justice is a crime and was literally included in Richard Nixon's articles of impeachment. So to pretend that because we've grown numb to the fact that Trump is doing it on a constant basis somehow absolves him is beyond insane. And it's not just Mueller's probe. Democrats are also considering Trump's campaign finance law violations when he paid hush money to two women with whom he had affairs. Corporate contributions over $2,700 are illegal. So when Trump paid $150,000 to Karen McDougal and $130,000 to Stormy Daniels for Michael Cohen on behalf of the Trump Organization, for the explicit purpose of not harming him in the 2016 election, he implicated himself in a felony. The same felony, mind you, that Michael Cohen is currently in prison for. Democrats are considering Trump's endless and egregious use of his position to enrich himself at the properties he still owns and profits from. And just in the last week, we learned that Mike Pence stayed at Trump's Dunebag Resort in Ireland, 150 miles away from his official meetings, which is the equivalent of booking a room in Philly for a meeting in DC. We learned that the Trump Organization made a deal with the Scottish airport to refuel American military planes so that service members could stay at Trump's flailing Turnberry Resort, despite the fact that refueling there would be more expensive than doing so at a military base. Turnberry, by the way, lost $4.5 million in 2017 and miraculously made $3 million in 2018. But I'm sure one had absolutely nothing to do with the other. And then there's Trump promising to pardon border agents who broke the law to build his wall. And look, we can go on and on, but the fact is that even after an investigation that in and of itself was grounds for impeachment, Trump still went on to commit crimes, and he'll continue to do so until he's out of office. Nothing will stop him from using the presidency to continue enriching himself at the expense of the American taxpayers, and nothing will stop him from dismantling the rule of law to do it. So yes, AOC is right in the fact that if Republicans in Congress are going to continue to allow him to get away with his crimes, then they ought to be on record. Because only time can tell the extent of the damage that Trump has caused, and every person who had a chance to speak out and didn't deserves to go down in history for it.